Changes play out tonight. Uh, that federal judge striking a blow to the Trump administration's newest asylum policy. Let's discuss it all with immigration attorney Francisco Hernandez and National Border Patrol Council Vice President Art Del Cueto. Welcome to you both. Great to have you with us. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Okay, so I want to read a little bit from the judge's ruling today. Judge Richard Seaborg, he's out of San Francisco, of course, within the Ninth Circuit. Uh, he grants this preliminary injunction, so you can't be sending people back to Mexico while they wait for asylum. He says the issue in the case, though, is not whether it would be permissible for Congress to authorize DHS to return aliens to Mexico pending final determinations as to their admissibility. Francisco, he's saying Congress has got a job to do here, and even if we're t saying the administration hasn't gone about this the right way, this could be done legislatively as a lot of things Congress could be doing with immigration. Francisco. Well, we've been at this for almost 19 years. If at first you don't succeed, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Guys, Congress has to act. They have to act on money to these sending countries. They have to act on what we're going to do here. But we are the second half of the problem. We are the hiring half of the problem. Guys, we've got to do something two years into the Trump administration, and we've done zero, nothing, zilch, not one dollar for the first brick of the wall. Yeah, I mean, our, there have been numerous runs at this. There have been deals the president tried to put together that they've tried to put together on the Hill. Uh, the Democrats didn't want to do a deal that would have included protections for DACA. I mean, th neither did the Republicans. Yeah, but nobody could seem to when the Democrats had said all along they were worried about the dreamers Art, when it came down to it, we couldn't even get a deal done, you know, in a bipartisan fashion on any of these things. Sure. And none of this has anything well, to do they, with the dreamers. They said oh, they I'm were sorry. worried about the dreamers. Yeah, Art. They said they were worried about the Dreamers, but they, they weren't that worried about the Dreamers, right? Because they still didn't want uh, border security. This is what it comes down to. These individuals have left their countries because, you know, they were oppressed and they're seeking asylum. Sure. Well, yeah. since they're in Mexico, there's, there's I mean, there, there shouldn't be any problem if they wait in Mexico, and that's what it comes down to. Yeah, but this judge says essentially that's not going to happen for now. Uh, but there's a lot of room for improvement when it comes to getting something done on the Hill. We've seen this under Democratic administrations and Republican as well. Uh, so many of these problems keep you know, continuing to pile up. We hear about the backlog of hundreds of thousands what? of cases. I mean, there, there, it seems like there aren't enough judges. There aren't enough border agents. Um, you know, Francisco, what do we do? Well, guys, we've got to follow the money. Where are these caravans being funded? They don't just get up here for free. Somebody's funding the money. It's either cartels detracting, distracting our resources, or there's political operatives doing this. But you know what? We didn't hear about this before. Guys, follow the money. Somebody's funding this. You don't move 7,000 people just with no money at all. All of a sudden, Central America is invading U.S. Guys, there's political and economic motives going on here, and we can't get to it because Congress is just going to sit there waiting on the president to do something he clearly cannot do. Okay, piece in the Washington Post under the headline, Trump keeps pushing legal boundaries, said this. Just like the partial government shutdown he forced earlier this year, Trump telegraphed to his base that he's willing to do whatever it takes to secure the southern border. So Art tonight is talking about putting together a much tougher team in a lot of these key positions. Um, is this about 2020 for the president? You know what? I don't think it is. I think what, it, what he cares about is securing our nation's borders. It's not an election thing. Uh, and frankly, securing our borders should not have anything to do with political party. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's, it's a good sign to see that Mr. Miller's in charge of a lot of uh, issues now because, uh, you know, I think we're going to have a stance. And it's not so much that we need a tough stance. We need a common sense stance. And that's what's needed. Well, Protecting uh, our borders has nothing to do with political parties and it has nothing to do with elections. And I it, strongly <laughs> believe that that's what President Trump is wanting. He wants okay. to protect has, the American public. It has public. everything it has me, to, do to do with, with politics. politics. Let me just ask you, because are, you mentioned the name Miller, Stephen Miller. So he is a young guy who is a very hardliner on immigration, who has been very much by the president's side all through um, these decisions, and, and apparently now is by some reports calling the shots on these issues. Uh, and there are a lot of critics out there, Francisco, saying today that he is a nativist. They are calling him much worse things than that, things we can't say call on the it. show. Um, uh, and they, they very much disagree with the hardline approach he's got. Call it, call it what you want, but why is this so hard? Why is it that we have to make it so hard for people to come here legally? Do you guys, do we not understand that there are other interests that play here? I mean, we don't have a mechanism where people can can apply to come here legally where we can differentiate who we let in or we don't. Do we not get that? It does not exist. So somebody's funding all these floods of people, if you call it a crisis, and I'm ready to say that 
I'm not going to deny that you've got a crisis, but what are we going to do about it? We keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Well, the backup is clear through the court system well, and, and elsewhere, and I don't know that anyone's going to have the uh, political uh, fortitude at this point to get something done before 2020. But they don't. we can always hope that there is a miracle and that people do work together on finding some solutions. In the meantime, oh, good. Francisco. It's been, it's been, it's been pretty easy years. for these people to enter the country illegally and stay here, though. Yeah, and that's, that's part of the equation that's got to be figured out as well. Um, Francisco and Art, thank you both for weighing in with your perspectives. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.